Okay, um, I do apologize for the very long delay. I was having trouble with the download itself. I uh, finally got it working, so I'm going to go straight into this. Um, and if anybody has not seen me on Xbox, it was I made an announcement that this is the 20th anniversary, obviously, of Tomb Raider's original release, and um, the new DLC has come out which is very exciting for an old Tomb Raider person like myself because I get to go into Croft Manor and um, I'm really looking forward to this so I'm going to be doing this blind um, like I do most of my Twitch broadcasts however, being that I am such a long-term Tomb Raider fan I shouldn't have as much struggle as I have in previous games like Resident Evil, Evil Within, etc. Anyway, so Let's start this. Hopefully it I will be fine and I won't be I won't get too frustrated with it. <laughs> anyway, here we go. We are still on the loading screen. It's already a bit Resident Evil-ish. I think I've been playing those games. Final notice to Lara Croft, a current tenant of premises. This is to serve as your final notice for the purposes of terminating your ownership of Croft Manor. You are required to immediately vacate and surrender possession of said manor to Atlas de Mornay, executor of estates. Lara, it is unfortunate that you have forced my hand in this matter, but so be it. As you know, your parents appointed me executor of the estate in the event of their absence. Since your mother disappeared, her death was never technically declared, and given the circumstances surrounding your father's death, it's no surprise that he never drafted a formal last will and testament to account for this circumstance. Unfortunately, you have no legal claims to the estate. I'm willing to negotiate a modest monthly stipend from your trust, but only if you leave the manor by week's end. Don't fight me on this, love. Your mother wouldn't want that. Sincerely, Atlas. There has to be a will or some kind of evidence of what happened to Mum in the manor somewhere. Dad's safe. Hmm, needs a combination. It's got to be in Dad's papers somewhere. Maybe in the library. My birthday crown. <laughs> I was so proud of that thing. <laughs> That's my handwriting. My penmanship was pretty good. Well, this is a hell of a thing. I met someone tonight quite unexpectedly. But it shouldn't have been, it seems. I've been so buried in my work, so distracted by my latest revelations, I never bothered to notice my surroundings. But there she was, sitting at my table in the library. Her name is Amelia. No. And apparently she's been studying right next to me. Art history, of all things. I shared some of my research against my better judgment, but I wanted to see how she would respond. And she did not disappoint. I felt as if I was suddenly engaged in a mental game of chess, moving and counter-moving in argument. At one point, that poor old librarian had to shush us as if we were children. I feel so foolish for not having noticed her earlier. She's a brilliant woman who's challenged my ideas for the first time in memory. In truth, I don't know if she's feeling as exhilarated as I am right now, but I dare say our conversation was mutually stimulating. <laughs> 
For the first time in a long time, I find myself thinking about something else besides my research. I hope she returns for another round tomorrow. Oh, bless. My parents made a good team, challenging each other from the start. Dad would have liked me to go to Oxford, but I insisted on UCL. <laughs> yep, looks real. Roth once offered to forge me a fake diploma to show Dad. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, she opened that up. Was there anything in there? <laughs> A picture with Dad and Anna. Never liked wearing dresses, but the color was nice. None of the stepmother. This is probably my grandfather, Benjamin. Oh, well, there's something in there this time. One of Dad's Yoruba masks, a gift from a friend he met on an expedition in Nigeria. I finally introduced Richard to the family. It went precisely how I imagined. I see but polite grace from Mother indifference and disinterest from father, and thinly veiled contempt from Atlas. Of course they don't approve. To them, Lord Croft is the man who took away their beloved daughter and ruined her long-standing engagement. Though I was never going to marry that repugnant Earl of Farringdon anyway. <laughs> One might think they would be happy that I was being courted by a genuine Lord of the Realm. It just happens to be Richard Croft. In their eyes, the man who single-handedly ruined a once great family. But there's nothing to be done now. Watching how Richard dealt with their subtle insults and disrespect. Such grace and calm. I know he did it for me. <laughs> I think I'm falling in love with this man. It will break my mother's heart, but I cannot live the life she imagined for me. My time with Richard has only made this clearer. It must have been hard for Mum to go against her family's wishes. I'm glad she did. Dad's map of the forgotten cities of northern Syria. He was closer than he knew to finding the Prophet's tomb. Nothing in there? something in here. Dad's book about immortality myths might be useful in my research. Nothing else to explore in here, okay. The door to the library. Look in there first. And that's locked, of course. Locked. Hmm. There's got to be another way through. Dad's artifacts from the Nile Valley. I always love looking at these. Look. Dad became interested in immortality myths after his expeditions to Egypt. Very old school Tomb Raider. Egyptian references. Hi, Dad. I've been thinking about Mum lately. I wish I knew more about her. How did you meet? What was she like? Winston told me that she was a brilliant artist. Are some of her paintings locked up in the West Wing? And I guess I just want to know, did she love me, Dad? Did she ever say that she did? Maybe I'm just being silly, but will you tell me more about her the next time I'm home from school?
I love that they called him Winston, the butler. Brilliant. Again, it's old school Tomb Raider. Nothing in there. Some up top. Oh, something there. That looks like. Almost looks like Underworld, that picture. In shot. Lara, I've reviewed the report from your therapist. I have to say I was surprised to see a clean bill of health. I somehow doubt you've so easily abandoned your irrational claims. Indeed, where have you been the past few weeks? My secretary discovered that you booked a flight to Turkey on the 20th. You can't have been simply sightseeing, as your customs claim suggest. I know you're up to something. And I'll be damned if I let you use the Croft assets to indulge the same obsession that led to my sister's death. It's not too late to relinquish your claims on the manor voluntarily. If you refuse, I will find a way to cut you off. Sincerely, Atlas. Hmm. This all reminds me of... Bioshock. Atlas. <laughs> Well, hello there, Sir Lancelot. Don't worry, it won't be boring your sword this time. <laughs> oh, brilliant. Love how there's references to the old ga other games. Not just the old ones, but the other games as well. The Grand Hall. Always loved playing in here as a kid. This will be one of the first things to fix. Lara, you know the West Wing is off limits. I'm sorry, I, I just wanted to see. We've been through this. Was Mum's room in here? Just stay out of there, darling. Dad was always so protective of the West Wing. Locked. Need a key to open this. Lots of lock things. Hmm, this belongs to Anna. Most of her belongings are in the guest house. What was she doing in here? It in information, but I can't find it. I see that script on there. Hmm. Okay, I'll have to come back to that one. It's in the cigarette case. Something in here. A phoenix figurine. I bet this appealed to Dad's idea of immortality, of rising from the ashes and being born anew. Well, I came out of his indeed. Go downstairs. I'm here, no. Locked again. Immortality artifacts. I think Roth bought this for him from a trader in Greece. What are you doing sitting there on the floor, Mistress Lara? <laughs> 
Lara, since your return from your expedition to Yamatai, I've grown increasingly alarmed at your erratic behavior. I can only assume you suffered some kind of psychological trauma and are only acting out as a call for help. I want you to know that I hear you, loud and clear. Anna and I agree that it's time for you to be evaluated by a professional. I took the liberty of arranging an introduction to a highly qualified colleague of mine. You should be receiving the details in the post soon. I want to impress upon you the importance of this, Lara. As executor of the estate, it is my duty to see that it is left in capable hands. And if I may be blunt, you're acting like your father when he was at his worst. He nearly lost the manor himself in those days. I'd hate for you to repeat his mistakes. I encourage you to embrace the help I'm offering. Sincerely, your uncle. Sounds like a pleasant man. Come on. Open that up, girl. Oh my goodness. Got to remember to pack this for my next trip. Oh, got a flashlight. Cool. Should be able to explore the dark now. Looking at the compass, thinking. I'm trying to figure out where to go up here. up on my ancestors one of these days. What about, if I may inquire? Just thinking about discovering faraway places, about finding adventure. <laughs> I'm sure you will, my lady. You've the soul of an explorer, but don't grow up too fast. The offer came in the post last week, and I still haven't told Richard. He flew ahead to Tibet, where I will meet him shortly. I never told him I was submitting my work. Never thought there was a chance of being accepted. Oh, but a gallery tour is not something I can pass up. The show will take me away from England for over a year. I'll begin in New York and travel across the United States and... Oh, God! I'm giddy even writing these words. When Richard and I were married, I was prepared to relegate my painting to a hobby, but it was Richard who objected, who gave me my atelier studio. Without that support, I might still be painting boring landscapes. Now I can't shake the foolish sensation that leaving would be a betrayal. He will laugh at that and insist I accept even though I know it will break his heart to be apart. He never once asked me to sacrifice any part of my life for his. I have, of course, in a thousand small ways over the years, but he would never ask. The discussion can wait, and I will join him in Tibet. I won't cast a shadow over his find. I will be by his side in his triumph, as I know he will stand by my side in time. I love the way those journals look like her own journal. The leather bound ones. Okay, now. Go through here. Oh, wait. There's something else. Hey, Jonah. Sorry for not getting back to you sooner. I've decided to do some research at the manor. A lot has happened, and I need some time to think about what I want to do next. This old place is filled with memories and secrets. Uncle Atlas has tried to keep me out of here for so long, I don't even know if I want to keep it. But after everything that's happened, maybe I can find out what it still means to me. If it's worth fighting him for, I'll let you know how things worked out when I'm back in London. Obviously, that's the front door. Okay. 
so we got a torch to our flashlight. So we need to go somewhere. It's gonna be dark now. Can't go through there because it's locked. Forgot about that one. Locked as well. Okay, um. Well, that's where I came in. Haha, <laughs> already stuck. Music changing. on top of there. See if there's anything up there. Okay. I like important objects, so I don't see a thing here. Oh, wait. There we go. <laughs> this is the map I made for my first expedition with Dad. It shows a path to the library through the servants' passages. There we go. Mm hmm Let's open this, yes. has reached mother. She knows that you broke off your engagement with the Earl of Farringdon. She is beside herself with worry. But, for the moment, she's controlling the narrative. As far as anyone knows, you're just having innocent second thoughts. But the moment your affair with Lord Croft goes public, it will be too late. Our name will be as ruined as this man you've chosen to bed. Don't you see that you're being selfish, Amelia? Please, consider your family. You're a de Mornay. Everything you do has a greater effect on us all. I'm coming down to London soon. Don't do anything rash until we have a chance to talk. <sighs> Falling apart. Maybe I should just let my uncle have this place. 
They say a good test of a relationship is how well you travel together. Well, I'd say Amelia and I have passed that test with flying colors. Indeed, these last few months in Egypt have been nothing short of extraordinary. She and Roth get on like old uni chums. In fact, the two have spent more than a few nights drinking and playing cards into the wee hours. Despite her decidedly... sell me a magnificent and quite unusual Tibetan scroll. From what I can tell, it seems to contain details surrounding an immortality ritual of some sort. I think it's time for me to take the next step with Amelia. In fact, I don't think I can wait any longer. I will ask for her hand tomorrow in the bright Egyptian sun amidst the dust and ruins. I'm not surprised he asked her to marry him as soon as he got the idea. My basement in my house. Amelia, I know we have had our differences in recent years. I've tried my best to keep an open mind about your relationship with Richard, but I just can't let you go on this ill-conceived expedition without saying my piece. You say Richard's theories have merit. You say that he may have actually stumbled upon some mythic unknown truth, but I have seen nothing to support such claims. And while your word may have been enough in times past, I cannot let you squander away what remains of your name and reputation and that of our family, truth be told, on some damned foolish crusade. I intend to go to Richard's investors and let them know exactly how he's spending their money, but I want to give you a chance to put a stop to this yourself. Please, don't go to Tibet. If not for me, at least for Lara. Okay. Getting decidedly creepier now. What a wine cellar, though. It's still just as creepy as I remember. Want to keep pushing it? What was I doing? I suppose it's just to get into that area. My lord, I hope this missive finds you on a successful expedition and in good health. Before I bore you with estate affairs, I wanted to let you know that our little angel has been into some mischief. As always, I indulged her in our usual game of chess. Over the game she broached the subject of her mother she's having trouble remembering her now and wanted to enter her ladyship's atelier which you sealed off to play on her mother's piano it enraged her when she wasn't allowed to go in of course for someone so young she has such strong emotions later in the day she set a trap for me in the walk-in freezer of all places before i knew what was happening i found myself locked inside mrs sheffield discovered me an hour later shivering and somewhat peeved it took us an additional hour to find lara in the grounds i know all her hiding places of course but this time she really did not want to be found call it years of observation but i can tell when she's out of sorts my lord, if I may be so bold, she misses you fiercely. She is lonely for her father. Please consider a call as soon as you are able. Oh, Winston. I remember being so angry. He was always so patient with me. That is brilliant. Oh, a reference to Winston in the freezer. I love it. <laughs> That, of course, is from Tomb Raider 2. King to Queen 1. I'm going to win this time, Winston. 
<laughs> Clever girl. But you should know by now, winning isn't everything. Queen to King's Bishop Six. Check. Easy for you to say. You always win. Knight takes queen. What I mean to say is true. I would play chess with our old butler Winston on this board. Never could beat him. Okay, where's the hidden information? I always chose white. Oh. Maybe if I let him go first once in a while, I might have won. Try to enjoy the journey, Lara. Don't rush to victory. Bishop to King Seven. I know, Winston. I just want... Oh, no! I didn't even see that! I'm at a crossroads now. Good Lord, that's such a cliché. But there's truth in it. Two roads before me. Both present joy and compromise. A life with Richard, adventure, intellectual pursuit, perhaps a new family, but also a man obsessed with something I cannot understand. Or a life of obligation, upholding the de Mornay name, embracing our traditions, not losing the family that raised me. Oh, this really is a rubbish choice. I don't want to lose them, but I love the life I've started to build with Richard. He comes with his own difficulties, but I can accept them. Will it be enough? Everything is almost ready for Mistress Lara's birthday expedition surprise. It's been a bit of an all-hands-on-deck effort organizing the affair and keeping it secret. She's obsessed with Egypt memorizing hieroglyphs and ancient Egyptian districts, so she'll be delighted with what Lord Croft has come up with. This will be good for her. She's acting up of late, but I know she's just craving more of her father's attention. He's buried in his research. It'll be a nice moment for the two of them to reconnect. And I do believe he needs it as she does. On again. I love the reference to Egypt here. That's nation. Again, that's very old school Tomb Raider. Which way do I push this? Let's see what's around here if anything is. No. Definitely cut off. So I was going the right way. This where do I push it? Where do I pull? Pull, pull. Maybe. Oh, I see. Let's go back around. I loved a good bottle of wine. Hmm. I can still smell his favorite Bordeaux. Dad, this is it! The basement of despair! Indeed, Lara. <laughs> Muster your courage, for this is the only path to the Library of Infinite Knowledge. Look there! See the string? An ancient Egyptian tripwire. The Keepers of Knowledge want none to disturb their treasures. We must tread carefully. Let me lead. I know how to spot all the traps. I'm sure you do, my darling. Lead on! the wire traps Winston made for my birthday expedition. Okay. 
Okay. Can't see the hidden information. Again, I might just leave this one and look at it later. Let me just reset that. Let's see if I can get it. Nope. It's not forthcoming. Okay, we'll leave that then. Come back to it another time. Hmm, water damage from the main hall above. That's the right path. I'm just going to go back over here. Oh, where's the statue I saw? Maybe there, wasn't it? Oh, no, it's cordoned off. Um, there was one, I believe. My stuffed bear. I couldn't have a tomb without a mummy. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> okay, go back. That was crunchy bit. through here. Last of Anubis was from Dad's Egyptian collection. He must have put it down in the basement for our little expedition. I think I need the crowbar again. Which I don't have. Yep, she just destroys things. to the manor. Dad used to say his granny hated all the bright lights. Hmm, there's a missing page. Hmm. Number two, gone. Amelia left tonight. She packed her suitcase and walked right out of here and I didn't even notice. Like those days in the Oxford Library before we even met, I just had my nose in a book lost in my own world. I am such a fool. I have let my obsession with this damned ritual of long life rule my better judgment for far too long, and it may already be too late. How could I have not seen this coming? I've made this mistake over and over, always putting my research before my personal life. But it's never hurt like this before. I simply cannot live without her. If I have to give up this accursed quest that has plagued me for so long, then so be it. I'm going after her, right now, tonight. Mm. Didn't see that one coming. Okay, Dad's ledger has to be in here somewhere. Hopefully it has the combination to the safe. I've created a clever little map for Lara's birthday expedition. 
I used the invisible ink Amelia picked up for me in Morocco so many years ago. At the time, I remember being so annoyed by that rather aggressive street vendor. But she just smiled in her sunny way and paid him without a second thought. I assumed it was just a tourist scam, but it actually works. Turns out, it requires a very specific kind of vellum and a heat source to illuminate the ink after it's dried. It should prove a nice challenge for Lara to puzzle out. Listen, gear. Oh, that's lighter. Mm. Yeah. Need something to light this. See, so, yeah, I could drop that ladder, but first we look at them. I remember this now. Each district in ancient Egypt had a symbol and a number. I always preferred these symbols to the actual number hieroglyphs. Now, let me see. Let me see. These two myths are referencing the same source material. But where did I see this image? Dad, I think it's this one, in the chapter on Egyptian districts. What are you doing, Laura, dancing? This is my handiwork. I used to love drawing pictures of tigers. I spent so many hours in here, reading, dreaming of my own adventures. Okay, let's to move that, so let's go back to here. Well, this way to do it. For God's sake, memorize the combination, you old fool. Lara's expedition treasure. My favorite painting by Amelia, the day of our wedding anniversary. Okay, got to find those objects to figure out the combination to the safe. There's something else here. I've reached the monastery. As Roth predicted, it was hidden deep in the Himalayas. And now that I'm standing on these high stone walls, I'm overwhelmed by the sheer beauty of the mountains that surround me. It is simply breathtaking. But what adds to their spiritual majesty is the truth of this place. The monks welcomed me, as is their way, but they seemed to expect me. They must have known someone like me would eventually come seeking answers. I know this is the place. They've conducted the ritual before. I have seen the evidence, the distinctive symbols carved into the floors, the art displayed on the inner chamber's walls. They've created the elixir before, and they will again if I can convince them. I sent Amelia a message straight away. I want her by my side for this discovery. Hmm, Dad was looking for an elixir. Was it the elixir of life? Dad's lighter. I don't remember him ever using it, though. The Croft family crest and initials B.C. I wonder if this belonged to my grandfather. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to. Yes. <laughs> okay. Should be able to light the fireplace now. Yay. Got something. I will look at that in a sec, but let's see if there's anything else to find. Of course. I always accepted that Richard's rather unorthodox research was just something I had to live with. But but this time, the thrill of discovery has taken hold of me. I never imagined I could be drawn in this way. Richard Cable to tell me he's found the monastery. The symbol we deciphered in the scroll was the key to its location. I don't know if I honestly believe that this will lead to the fabled elixir of life, but I can't help but feel that a great secret awaits us there. My brother was threatening to shut down the expedition, but I managed to talk him down for the time being. Now I am going to meet Richard. I would bring Lara if I could, but she's still too young. She'll be in good hands with Winston, and when we return, 
her parents might just be a bit more famous. Hmm. Hello, Shane and Demon. Thanks for watching, and thank you to the other five viewers, seven viewers watching. Um, I do. This is my very first run through. I'm doing it blindly, and I do um, listen and read everything. I'm very much on exploring. This is why I love Tomb Raider so much. Oh, music. This music is familiar. It's beautiful. That's Tomb Raider 2 music. Oh, I love it. <laughs> love this. I love this so much. <laughs> it appears Sir Reginald's helmet fell off. Or oh, didn't I put it back properly? Oh, this is brilliant. <laughs> yes, I think you're right, Lara. I remember the page with the illustration of Ra. My goodness, you've been paying attention, haven't you? This could be an important breakthrough. This picture was taken in the library. Must be her mother. No. Nope. 1820 additions to the main hall in progress. Hmm. Don't think there's anything else here. Does this mean I'm your research assistant? That and more, my darling girl. Takes me back. Those were good times. The best times. Oh god. How oh, oh, do I love this? That music. Oh, oh where was it? Oh. Took quite a tumble off of this old thing when I was a girl. Still feel it in the shoulder from time to time. <sighs> That's the sort of library I want. Pull it. Oh, I see, yes. Open up the pathway. And I almost messed up her shoulder again. Alright, Laura. Where is she back? of a key. So the invisible ink. I remember this map now. It leads to the master key. But we made it with a special kind of invisible ink. It could only be seen with the heat of a fire. Yep, come on, let's mm. go back down. I think I stashed one of Winston's master keys in here when I was a kid. Back down the steps. Don't fall. Come on, girly. I can see the map. Looks like the key is hidden under a trunk near the bookcase. X marks the spot, as they say.
the master key. This should get me into the West Wing. All right, this should open most rooms in the manor, including the Forbidden West Wing. One of Winston's notes. He always hid sweets for me to find. <laughs> Just the cakes. Not quite sweets, but close enough. Um, what else was that? Oh, no, don't jump, girl. wasn't up here. Yeah, okay. My memory is quite appalling sometimes. I think it was. There it is. The Pharaoh's crown from my birthday treasure hunt. Mm -hmm. How old was I again? Six, eight. Hmm. I think this hieroglyph corresponds to a number. Oh yes, that's on her own Which map. one? Okay, Dad's clues mention Mum's paintings and their anniversary. Hopefully I can find some answers in the West Wing. Is there anything at all you have to say? Combination, of course. Need to search the rest of the manor for the clues to the combination. So far, really, really liking this. Can't light that one. But I believe there is another one. Light up. I'm over here. There we go. Don't know exactly what that will do, but... Thank you, demon. Okay. Oh. New room. That looks like it's glowing. But how do I get to it? Mistress Lara, I took the liberty of preparing a tray, as dinner did not go according to plans. I've included, in addition to your meal, a few treats. I would appreciate it if you kept this between us, but I felt tonight called for something special. If you will forgive me the indulgence, your rapid exit from the dinner table had me concerned, and I wanted to impart something that I hope sets your mind at ease. I have known your father for quite some time. There is an intensity to his passion that can be frightening. 
that I recognize that same passion in you. You're more like him than you know. Never doubt that he loves you more than his research, more than his artifacts, more than anything in this world. Storms pass, and tomorrow will be clear and blue again. When you have finished, please leave the tray outside. Be well. Yours, Winston. Good old Winston. Oh, this is fabulous. So that's where I went downstairs. Okay. There was a door I couldn't open before. That's all I want. I want to need to get to it. Again, okay. It's all opened up now. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to start the broadcast shortly. It's just getting quite late. I'm going to apologize. I will look at that room in just a moment. I'm going to look at this lockbox here first. The Croft family crest. Nothing more to explore. No, there was a anything locked over here. That was wrong. And of course we've been through, so let's go to previous off limits. Legend, I believe. Worse uh, than I thought. It's a bit of a mess. And creepy music alert. Okay, I'm going to stop this broadcast now. Well, let me see if it goes on to an auto save first. Let me get this. Here we go. With Amelia gone, the manor is a different place. A dimness pervades, a quiet I can't stand. Even though Lara is too young to understand what has happened, she also senses the change. She's asked after her mother only once, and I'm afraid my reaction must have terrified her. I will need Winston more than ever these next few months to help look after her. I never quite realized how much grief can consume a man, but I am utterly consumed. I know I can't escape the pain, but I will try my damnedest to avoid it. I will seal the West Wing for as long as I live in this place. It will remain exactly as Amelia left it. Perhaps someday Lara can find her own answers there. Okay, with that, I'm going to stop the broadcast. I do thank you for all for watching. Um, like I said, it is getting late for me, so I've got to get to work in the morning. And um, thanks for hanging around. And I might continue the broadcast. Not 100% sure, I just don't want to bore anybody with all my exploration. Anyway, thanks again, and I will be on soon.